Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another spooky reaction video today. This one is to Nuke's Top 5. The video is called Top 10 Scary Videos of What? Well, WTF is that, should I say. Please pop by Nuke's channel. The link is in the description and drop them a sub if you wouldn't mind doing so. Please show some appreciation there. Uh, sub to my channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, hit the thumbs up on the video. I'd be very grateful just to try and get some views going. Leave your comments. Any feedback is appreciated. I'm still learning with all this. Let us know what you think about any of the clips in the video. Or even just leave your favourite emote to sort of generate some sort of engagement. We very much appreciate it. Thank you. And we're so close to hitting partner. If you wouldn't mind watching this video all the way through. Or if you've got time, watch one or two of my other videos. I'd be very grateful for that. And we should be able to apply for partner any day now so we're excited about that that's for the first part and um, we've still got a bit of a way to go for the second tier but we will get there uh it'd be nice just to try and apply and see how we get on that'll do uh for now in the meantime let's jump into this and see what it's all about shall we let's hope it's a scary one concerned father chris from fargo north dakota says that his four-year-old son has been behaving very strangely he says that over the last three or four days, the child has said that he just doesn't want to go in the bedroom because he says, quote, there's a monster in there. Obviously, Chris just dismissed these claims as a child's overactive imagination. But then, one night at around 2 a.m., the boy is fast asleep in bed when something happens that Chris and his wife simply can't explain. Something truly shocking. Gonna go all end failed. Bloody hell. The boy cries out when he appears to get shoved out of bed by some invisible force. Chris says that his son cried out in shock, but thankfully, the boy was okay and completely unharmed. Chris says that the previous owner of their house passed away right in the living room. And he wonders if this tragic history has anything to do with what's happening to their son. Hold the That's mental. It wasn't just a slip, that. that that's crazy. There was some force applied there. What do you guys think it was? Let us know. That's... No, the wonder the band doesn't want to go to bed. What the hell? The door. A woman named Nadine has been experiencing some very strange and unexplained events in her home in Alabama. That would be quite disturbing as well though if your dog suddenly started growling at nothing. Now, many viewers believe that they can hear a voice whisper something after the dog barks that sounds like, lay over there. But what do you hear, if anything? As for Nadine, she says that she's a skeptic and doesn't really believe in ghosts at all. But then one night, she's looking after her two-year-old daughter, Blake, and something happens that freaks her right out. Blakey, yeah. you okay? Looks terrified. Do you want me to go open the door? Why? Oh. No? Okay. Okay, I, I'm i honestly freaking the f*** out and I don't know what to do. Just a couple minutes ago, I got up and I closed my door Wait. because she kept pointing Wait. to my room saying, You're Mommy, Mommy, back. someone's over there. Yes, and and she was terrified. She, she, was, she was terrified, of course, freaking me out. So I went over there and she just said, No, Mommy, come here. Come here, Mommy. Sit, sit, Mommy. Don't go over there. And so I called the dog and I closed the motherfucking door. And as you can see, Dude, she's still terrified. She's still terrified. She doesn't want me going over there. She doesn't want me open the door. I am... Dude, I'm terrified. Blakey, mommy's gonna go open the door, okay? I'll be right back. It's okay. Hey, girls. 
I'll be right back. Little Brown looks absolutely terrified, bless her. Her behavior's not really helping much, like, and why would you record if your Brown was that scared? But never mind. Maybe that's and now me. she's hiding her face. It's okay, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, tell me I'm not... What do I do? Little two-year-old Blake is terrified of something in Nadine's bedroom. So much so that Nadine has to close the door to calm her daughter down. So could it be that little Blake saw a supernatural entity? Or just what was scaring her? Let me know what you think. Uh, the poor band, like, it's genuine, that. Genuine fear, yeah, but I don't think the mother's out of matters. <laughs> Or am I being silly there? Let us know what you guys think. Alone on the farm. Alone on the Tasha D and her husband move into an 1840s farmhouse in rural upstate New York. The happy couple begins to renovate their new home. But soon, Tasha begins to experience some very unsettling and unexplained events. These strange incidents only seem to occur when Tasha is home alone. So her husband is a bit skeptical. So one day, a picture frame in the house inexplicably falls to the floor. Tasha grabs her phone and starts to record in hopes of proving to her husband that something's just not quite right in the old farmhouse. See, and you think I'm crazy. The first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor and it just... But things soon start to get even weirder because the family dogs begin to act Really strange. Why are you running? Again with the dogs, like I said, they've still started acting like that. I don't know how I'd react to be honest. It's bizarre, isn't it? Another day, and Tasha is recording a candid video of her dogs to post to Snapchat when this happens. Look at them. Destroying the living room over one toy. <laughs> Silly. Right after posting the video to Snapchat, a worried friend reaches out to Tasha to warn her about what seems to be a strange shadow-like figure moving up the wall right beside her dogs. Tasha has no idea what the creepy shadow could be, so she shares her story to TikTok hoping to find answers. The video soon grabbed the attention of millions of concerned TikTok viewers who wonder if Tasha might have awakened a paranormal presence by renovating the 180-year-old farmhouse. And then... Was it not just her sort of moving in the doorway causing the shadow? One night, just after midnight, someone rings Tasha's doorbell. When she checks the security camera, what she sees chills her to her core. shadow can be seen moving towards the outside deck chair and appears to just take a seat. It then gets up, moves away towards the right, and disappears. So did Tasha and her family move into a haunted farmhouse? Could the renovations be upsetting a lingering paranormal presence, causing it to act out? Let me know what you think.
I mean, obviously the dogs didn't react in that second video with it going up the wall. Um, and to me, it, it could just have been uh, moving in the doorway, sort of blocking certain light. I don't know. It's it's a bit strange. But that shadow on the Porsche was pretty creepy. What do you guys think it could be? There is no imaginary friend. A woman from Oregon says that her young daughter claims that there is something living in their basement, hiding in the storage area just underneath the stairs. At first, of course, the mother dismisses these claims, just thinking it's the little girl's overactive imagination. But that kids and dogs, man, bloody hell. Same day, after hearing something strange coming from the basement, the mom decides to check the footage from their security camera. What she sees chills her to her core. Hand, it? Just Did you see it? A small pale hand can be seen reaching out from under the stairs before just disappearing. Even creepier, both the child and the family cat seem to spot this bizarre apparition. The little girl even seems to wave at something that we can't see. Now, unfortunately, this video was shared to the internet without a direct source. So we'll probably never know just what happened here. The kid seems to startle at first. And does look genuinely scared and a little sort of weird, bizarre. What do you guys think about that one? What walks in the woods? Reddit user No Recognition 1998 says that this video was caught on a trail cam. 20 miles out into the Idaho woods in the middle of nowhere. Now, there is no reason that anyone would be this far out in these isolated woods at this time of night. So what is this? Someone or something walks past a forest trail cam at 4.37 in the morning in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere. So Curious Reddit viewers right point out that this strange humanoid figure just looks kinda off. They say it's perhaps not even human at all, as it seems to have very pale skin, thin frail arms, and a long neck. Now is this a very lost and very strange person wandering around the remote woods of Idaho? Or is it something else? Oh, no, yeah. I leave that for you it to like decide. The sort of hanging. Lurking that's in the... Mad. The funny march and everything. That's weird, that. I said, it looks like one of the... You get them round here all the time, but you wouldn't expect it in the middle of the woods, in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. What do you guys think? The darkness. Now this next extremely popular video was suggested so much, probably close to a thousand times, there was really no choice but to feature it here on Nuke's Top 5. Oh, so, so, Dustin Frazier yeah, says that he works the night shift at an allegedly haunted hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. One night, Dustin is recording a Snapchat video to send to his friend when something happens that makes his blood run cold. I just got to work and I feel like, ugh, like all day today, I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little bit. I felt bad. And I don't know. I just, like, I feel like I need to go to a doctor, but like, I'm constantly just like nauseous. And I don't really know why. Like, I have tried to, like, take medicine for it and stuff, but I. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it really does anything. Um, but if you wanted to swing by um, and say, hey, like you could. Oh, I can't see. I also hate that they always keep this room so fucking dark. Like, come on now. But anyways, yeah, if you wanted to swing by and say, hey, then, you know, you could. But. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Throughout the video, strange voices and whispering can be heard. 
I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little bit. I'd to like take that sort of thing. Um, and I also hate that they always keep this room so fucking dark. Like, come on now. But creepiest of all, something can be seen standing in the shadows just behind Dustin. Not once, but twice. Some dark figure with a distorted skeletal face. Now at the time I'm recording this story, this video has gained a massive audience of over 19 million viewers, making it the most popular and most suggested video. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. We need scary videos, so if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top 5, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Caught on. Yeah, that, that one, it's, it's a bit of a strange one. That, that's quite believable, to be honest. Um, he didn't go back and review what the voices said. I can't remember what was being said or if you could pick it out at all. Um, but the sort of shadow guy and the weird face behind him it did seem quite legitimate. Um, but since then he's posted more. I think I've put it in one of my last videos. I've sort of went back a bit on Nuke's channel, um, just to try and not spoil any of the new clips as such. But, um, he's put a later video on and it's all just a bit too unbelievable. Um, like a zombie woman waiting across the street and ringing the doorbell and voices and stuff in the house and things like that. Um, all a bit peculiar. Let us know what you guys think. If you've seen any more clips that might be a little bit more believable, then please let us know. Um, but yeah, it's it's a bit of a strange case. I, I did quite believe that first video when I first saw it. Um, but since then, it's sort of spiralled a little bit. Let us know what you guys think camera. Reddit user Justin says that he and his family recently bought and moved into a historic 1800s terrace house in London, England. But during renovations, Justin says his doorbell security camera caught something really creepy. Around 10 p.m. at night, someone or something can be seen quickly taking a peek at Justin's front door. Then whoever or whatever it is appears to walk past the car in the driveway before disappearing off camera. Now with the house's 200 year history, Justin is worried that his renovations might have triggered some paranormal presence to act out. But worried Reddit viewers warn Justin that he might be dealing with something even scarier. A trespassing stranger that is scoping out his house for unknown reasons. Yeah. So is this a ghost or is this a very real and potentially dangerous person? You decide. Frozen. It was a bit strange that one. Um, it could have been just a person. But it was hard to tell. The, the quality wasn't exactly brilliant, was it? It did seem to be more shadowy in effect than a person but it could have been it might have just been crap lighting and stuff i don't know what you guys think in fear in this creepy video a woman begins recording when her dog refuses to come back inside their house the dog seems frozen in place and refuses to even look back at his owner as she calls to him nigel what are you doing Play do Nigel. To be fair, Dill does that all the time. He's just an ignorant bastard. Oh, that eyes. <gasps> the dog appears to be frozen in fear as it stares at something behind a shed in their backyard. When the woman slowly looks around the corner, her heart almost stops as she sees two creepy glowing eyes staring right back at her. 
Now the video abruptly ends here and was reposted to the internet by social media outlets that just don't bother to credit the source. So with no explanation, it's hard to say exactly what's going on here. But the dog's freaked out reaction is strange. So just what do you think this dog is seeing looking back from the darkness? Curse. Could have just been a cat or something, I don't know. Um... Totally judge without knowing the dog's characteristics, how he would react. He might just sort of hold, and if it moves, because they they chase some dogs. They just, might just be waiting for a movement to launch. As Bill does that when he's playing sometimes. Psst. A young thing. woman in Japan claims that her grandmother kept a cursed photo album locked in one of her cupboards. The woman believes that her grandmother might have dabbled in dark magic and that the cursed photo album and her grandmother's strange rituals might have led to her grandfather's strange unexplained death 12 years earlier. Her grandfather allegedly took his own life inside the home, but the circumstances were very suspicious. The young woman says that for her part, she once viewed the cursed album herself, but that she became seriously ill immediately afterwards. Thanks, Newt. People who see this video, uh, this photo album, fall ill. It was photo album. Cheers, bud. What the hell? Since then, the young woman's grandmother has passed away, but she is still afraid of the home and the creepy photo album. She asked anonymous paranormal investigator Kaneko to remove and destroy the album, warning him that everyone who views the photo album becomes ill and that some of her family even believes that the cursed album can possess the viewer. So Kaneko explores the old abandoned home and finds the album, but he too starts to become ill and is forced to quickly leave the house, leaving behind both his phone and camera as he dashes out. YouTube channel Fourth Wall is contacted and asked to retrieve his equipment and analyze the footage. What they find is downright chilling. Recovered footage from a phone that was used as a static camera shows a portrait of the woman's late grandfather just falling to the floor for unknown reasons. Didn't look like a but ball. That that's like not all. Because Kaneko has actually recorded the moment he found and looked through the cursed photo album on camera. Something happens that Kaneko claims that he doesn't remember at all. Something terrifying.
creepy dolls. Did you see it? Kaneko hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the house. But when he turns to look, someone can be seen kneeling behind the glass of a sliding door. But Kaneko says there was no one else inside that house with him. After analyzing the footage, YouTube channel Fourth Wall believes that the woman's grandmother might have been responsible for her grandfather's death. How the hell did you spot that? Bloody hell. And that his spirit is unable to move on. Watcher. Yeah, it was a bit creepy. Um, it's a bit weird because the photo album itself looked quite recent, like a plastic binder. Obviously, the photos inside Jen weren't, but um, yeah, I do like some of the Japanese and Asian channels and stuff they do some good stuff as they get a bit too excited at times but it's good fun now there's no use guys in watcher in the woods in the woods youtuber creepy outdoors frequently sets out to explore and spend the night deep in the wilderness of canada on one of these trips he sets up camp just like any other night and scouts through the woods with a flashlight and a gopro camera but this time something very unexpected happens and things take a creepy turn. This one again. Oh, oh, hi. I see you. What the hell? I need to get out of here. Oh, boy. Ooh. Okay. That was f***ing creepy. I need to get out of here. The camper thinks he hears movement in the remote woods, so he cuts his flashlight so he can't be seen. But the joke is on him, because just then, a high-pitched voice can be heard calling out, I see you. Oh, hi. Now he's feeling a little on edge and wondering if there might be someone or something stalking him in the dark woods. He decides to just quickly head back to the safety of his camp. The experienced explorer says this is the scariest sound he's ever heard in the woods. Even though he was somewhere deep in the Canadian wilderness and completely removed from any towns or cities, he says that he hopes that the voice belonged to just a fellow camper having a laugh. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Creepy Outdoors. Yeah, was some good stuff there. We have seen a couple of them before, but uh, there was no what you think. That last one, it could have just been an animal, a funny animal call or something, I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Let us know. Um, if you, as I said before, if you wouldn't mind dropping by Nuke's channel, the link is in the description, drop them a sub, sub to my channel. And if you wouldn't mind watching one or two of my other videos, there will be links here and there. Um, I'd be very grateful for that. In the meantime, have a good day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.